within the man. For it is not Hallelujah. you that speak. Glory to God. Do you hear the Bible talking? In Matthew chapter 10 and verse 20. Glory to God. Glory to God. What did he say? For it is not ye that speak. It is not ye. Amen. That speaketh. But the spirit. But what? But the spirit of your father. That's what you fellas out there are missing. That's it. Amen. You're going Hallelujah. from place to place and you can't wake nobody up. And That's right. No fish, no souls, no nothing out there 10 years, 20 years, and 30 Hallelujah. years. And you're still sitting in the same place like you were when you got started. Why? God is not talking. That's it. That's right. That's it. When God talked, That's he right. said, my sheep. That's right. I don't care what color you are. Amen. My sheep come you hear my voice. Well, hear my voice. And a stranger will and not follow. And a stranger they will not follow. That's right. I don't bit more Hallelujah. care what color you are. Amen. Anywhere in the world. That's right. When God talk, you got to move. That's a, That's right. Ah. It is not ye that speak. When, the, when one God, the one God of heaven talk, brother and sister, you're going to get moving because God Almighty is going to work down in your heart until they bring you towards his word. That's right. Ah. It is not ye that speak. It is not ye. Amen. That speak. But the spirit of your father. No, we take God, but the spirit of God. Which speaketh that's in the you. Father. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Spirit of your father, that's yes. talking about God. Right. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Moses, and the God of the prophets. Right. Amen. That was sent out ahead of the Son of Man. And then when God was manifested in the flesh, not that God became flesh. That's one of the biggest lies you churches ever told. That's right. God became a man. God ain't never became a man. No, God. God remained God, then made a man child, and then got in that got man. In the man. Amen. God ain't never become flesh. God made flesh and got in that flesh That's right. and used that flesh as an example for us. That's right. He remained God because the Bible said God is a spirit. That's right. Mary wasn't God mother. Mary was the mother of the Messiah, That's the it. mother of the prophet, the mother of the apostle, the mother of the Lamb of God to take away the sins of the world. That's it. Someone said, you sound like you're preaching to God. No. Oh, no. I'm talking about two natures, about the one. About the one. The spirit is divine. The man was human. That's and it. God, the divine, was in the human, reconciling the world That's unto himself. himself. That's right. That's what I'm talking. That's what you're saying. What did he say, son? Back in Galatians chapter 6 and verse 6. Yes. Let him that is taught in the word. Let him that is taught in the word. Communicate, communicate unto him with that him. teacheth. That teaches in all good things and everything that's good. Be not deceived. Don't you be tricked. God is not God mocked. is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, whatever a man put out, that shall he also reap. That's what you're going to get in return. For he hear does, this, hear this. That's right. Hear this, religious leaders. That's right. Entertain us. Be not deceived. Hollywood have taken over the churches. Hollywood have taken over religion. That's right. Choke all church is not safe. Synagogues is not safe. Moss is not safe. Amen. Hollywood is imitating all of them. That's right. That's right. And Hollywood is making mockery, making mockery. of God's word. Oh, yes. Somebody wrote me and asked me to look at a clip they sent me. I get people send me books, <laughs> want me to read to give their approval. People send me books all type of text messages folks I don't even recognize the number send me uh, movies that Jay Z is supposed to put out yeah. mocking Jesus my lord my lord I believe it's called the book of uh, the book of Clarence there ain't no such scriptures called the book of Clarence my lord my lord there ain't no better than the book of Mormons <laughs> that's right that's Someone right. said it's just a movie. Give me uh, Revelation 22, 16 quickly. Revelation 22 and Give me Revelation 16. 22, 16. Let's see what the God warned us not to do. I, Jesus, have sent my I angel. I testify. I testify unto every man. To every man. That heareth the words of the prophecy This is Revelation this 22, 18 here. For I testify unto every man. The apostle. That's right. Want to give us a testimony to everybody. That heareth the words that of the prophecy hear the of this book. That heareth the words of this book. If any man shall add unto these things. What? The, if any man shall add unto these you things. You out there that are trying to make mockery of Moses, 
trying to make mockery of the prophets, trying to make mockery of the Messiah, That's right. trying to make mockery of God. If any man shall add unto these things. Can you imagine that? Imagine that. How they make a mockery of God, anything to make money. That's right, anything. God, people should not be sitting watching some so-called religious movie nowhere. Amen. Amen. That's not Moses. That's right. That's not Abraham. Amen. That's not Isaac. Right. Who said God had a, an Australian accent? That's right. That's right. Who said Jesus talked like he was from North Philly? Amen. Amen. Who said Abraham spoke like he was from Great Britain? What's the matter with you people? That's right. How did you get so wicked yeah. and so weak? Amen. And so far from God? That's right. Until now you don't care don't what care. society is doing. They're That's making mockery. That's right. And getting richer and richer while they're making mockery of God and some of the, of the producers and writers and actors of all nationality under the sun. Amen. Amen. Hear me good. For I testify. Some of you churches have mm -hmm. plays in your churches. Yeah. I remember was I'm in my false church days. <laughs> we used to fellowship with the church in South Philly. Mm -hmm. They would always have plays. Mm -hmm. Like what's going on now. They have a big play out. Jesus Christ superstar. That's a lie. That's a lie. Jesus ain't never addressed himself as no superstar. No. That's just as much as a lie as you religious people that made him the second person <laughs> in the Godhead. That's a lie. That's a lie. The Bible says in him the well of all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. That's it's right. all in one. That's right. Hey, man, it's not in them, it's all in him. That's it. What did he say, son? Revelation 22 and verse 18. What is it? For I testify unto every man. Every man. That heareth the words of the prophecy of this so book. So God's people should never buy tickets. Mm -hmm. To go see some religious play, that's blasphemy. That's right. The moment a man step up there and try to make mockery of Jesus, try to make mockery of the prophets, try to make mockery of the apostles. That's religious mockery. Amen. And you go buy a ticket to go see it, you are promoting blasphemy. That's right. If you didn't know it, you know it now. That's right. God is not mocked. God is not mocked. Hear me, world, hear That's this. Right. God Almighty that made the worlds and all things therein, he is not mocked. Not mocked. That's right. You That's bunch right. of religious hypocrites. God is not mocked. That be not you deceived. You are religious hypocrites. Amen. You that go to church, you that go to the mosque, and you that go to the synagogue, many of you are nothing ahead, but man. religious hypocrites. That's right. Someone say, well, I can win people to Christ by putting on the act. If you want to win people to Christ, do it the way the apostles done it. That's right. The apostles didn't have to pretend. They, they preach the word. Preach the word. That's what they did. That's right. Jesus said, I'm making fidgets of men. That's right. All you got to do is preach, preach the, the word. word and God will do the rest. That's right. Eh? That's it. Don't have to put on no play. That's right. Don't have to pretend. Don't have to hire no actors or actresses. That's right. Preach the word. The Bible's too real to hire some actor. That's right. That's it, man. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? For I testify unto every I man. I testify to every man. That heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. God, they hear the words. Of the prophecy of this book. Of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things. If any man shall add unto these things. God, God shall, shall add, add unto him, him the plagues that are written in this book. God gonna plague you. And if any man yeah, shall. That's it. God gonna plague you. That's right. Any to man. To you out there that write these scripts. That's supposed to be religious plays or religious movies, you add to the Bible. <laughs> That's, That's right. what you do. You add to the scriptures. Oh, yes. You take away from the scriptures. That's right. Amen. And you put things in there the word of God ain't never said. That's true. And when you put something in the movie that project, supposed to project the scriptures 
a certain event that took place and that thing contradict God's word That's is right. a lie. It's a lie. Do you hear what I'm telling you? That's right. It's just a straight up lie and this biblical mockery. That's right. Give me the book of Jude now. Now in the book of Jude chapter 1. Begin at verse 1. Jude I'm only have one chapter. That's I right. want you to follow me in the scriptures. Amen. It's right next to Revelation, so you can't get lost. <laughs> Only right. have one chapter here. That's right. All right, son, let's have it. Jude chapter 1 and verse 1. All right. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ. Jude, the servant of Jesus and Christ. And brother of James. Hold it. Yes. You didn't say Jude, the apostle of Jesus Christ. No, the servant of Jesus Christ. I want to straighten that out because a lot of you preachers have said, Jude the Apostle. He didn't say that. No. Never. There's no way in the book that says Jude was an apostle. No. Jude was the brother of James. Brother of James. And he was a servant, a follower. Of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. He didn't say Jude was an apostle. No. Uh -huh. All right. Jude. Give me good now. Jude the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James. He was James' brother. To them that are sanctified by God the Father. Now. <laughs> The whole world, get me good, need to be sanctified. Sanctified. Takes God to sanctify you. That's right. What is being sanctified? That's it. When you are truly sanctified, you are set apart, set, apart. set aside mm -hmm. for the usage of God only. That's right. Not God and the street. No, no. Not God and party. That's right. Not church and cross dresser. That's right. Hear me good. I want to soak you while I have you. That's right. What did he say? Sa and that are sanctified by God the and Father. And that is sanctified. Read the whole thing here. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ. And brother of James. Brother of James. To them that are sanctified. To them that are sanctified. By God the Father. By God the Father. By the Spirit of God. That's right. It takes the Spirit of God to sanctify men. Oh, yeah. Take the Spirit of God to set you aside. Set right. you apart. Right. And these churches today are not sanctified. No. Because if you were sanctified, you wouldn't be smoking. No. You wouldn't be drinking, gambling. How in the world a man gonna be sanctified? He can't make up his mind whether to put on a dress that morning or pants. <laughs> That's right. You ain't sanctified, you're crankedified. Crankedified. Hey Amen. You're crankedified. <laughs> That's right. A sanctified cross dresser. Mm. A, 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 a sanctified Cross dresser? A cross dresser. Can you imagine? <laughs> That's right. A sanctified homosexual. My Lord. Glory to God, glory to God, you better get this. That's right. There is no sanctified homosexual in the world. No, no. Not in the world. That's right. That's right. Thank God I want to hit you while I have you. That's why these viewers that watch this program can't stand it and say he preach out of hatred and anger. One woman, amen, there's so many people that's, amen, logging up, getting the program, some getting it to critique it, some getting it. So one woman, she must been on uh, in a bedroom or in the bathroom somewhere. It looked like it was a shower curtain in back of her. <laughs> she played the messages of the truth of God when I was in Texas and I was blasting false prophets like, Hey Amen. Joel Alstein and T.D. Snakes and Crepler O'Dala. And after she played a little bit of it, she said, uh, we, we rebuked the devil. We, my Lord, my we rebuked Lord. the devil. She said, God said, touch not my anointed mm. and do my prophet no harm. All of them devils I called out, none of them was God's anointed. <laughs> That's right. Not one. That's right. And ain't none of them pulpit racketeers. Racketeers. Amen. It's God's anointed. That's when right. you get a man that's anointed by God, you couldn't pull him out of the Bible if you wired the Bible with 10,000 atomic bombs. <laughs> if he right. survived, he's going to wipe the soot off and stay with the Bible. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Amen. He's going to stay with God's word. That's it. You won't be able to pull him out of that book to save your life. That's right. God, man, eat and breathe and sleep Preaching. scripture. That's it. 
won't come out. Hallelujah. You won't, you can't offer me nothing. No. Nothing under the sun. Somebody said, we offer you several hundred thousand dollars. What's that? What is that? My God, man, that's nothing to me. That's right. Hey, man, that's, that's, that's not even peanuts. <laughs> that's right. I don't even look at that as peanuts because God made that. Amen. Huh? Amen. Peanuts is God's creation. That's right. Money is nothing touching God's everlasting word. That's right. When you, either you walk with God or you don't. Or you Either don't. you can be bought or you can't. That's right. Ah! Amen. Amen. When God make a preacher, when God make him, God make him. You bear in mind, he can never be bought by nothing and nobody That's as right. long as he stay and keep God in front of him. In the book of Numbers, chapter 22. Says what? And at verse 17. What did he say? For I will promote thee unto very great honor. There you had Balak. Glory to God. One uh, to give Balaam. Great honor. Great honor. Amen. And you bear in mind, man, Balak was offering Balaam all type of thing. That's right. Give chapter verse again. Numbers chapter 22 and we're at verse 17. Yes. For I will promote thee unto very great honor. I will promote thee to great honor. And I will do whatsoever thou sayest unto me. I will do whatever you say. Come therefore, I pray thee, curse me this people. You know, Balaam was God's servant. That's right. Balak wanted Israel, the people of God, to be cursed. To be cursed. So he figured if he take Balaam mm -hmm. to different places, mm -hmm. change of atmosphere, That's right. and do sacrifice, yeah. he'd get Balaam to change his mind. That's right. The thing that Balak, or rather Balak overlooked, mm -hmm. was the spirit of God was in Balaam. That's right. You see, when the spirit of God is in the prophets, the prophets going to stick to God's word. Amen. There's no maybe so about it. They're going to stick to God's word. That's right. When these men will sell out, on God for notoriety, yeah. for, money. for money, amen, for fame, amen. for fortune. They <laughs> never was of God. No. Because when you truly walk with God, you'll be sanctified. That's right. Set apart for his glory. That's right. Thank God and for his glory only. That's right. What did he say? For I will promote thee unto very great honor. I will promote thee to great honor. And I will do whatsoever thou sayest unto me. What is it? Come therefore, I pray thee, curse me this people. Curse me this people. And Balaam answered and said unto the servants of Balak. What? If Balak would give me his house. This is how I feel. Amen. If Balak would give me his house. This is what the man of God said. That's right. You don't find a preacher say that today. Oh, no. These old liars will go off in a fake tongue. And yes, they would. Squinch their eyes and make up a tongue. Supposed to be speaking in some tongues. When they get ready uh, enough to excite your hand and lead it right to your pocketbook. That's right. That's right. If he's of God, he had the same spirit that was in the prophet Balaam. Balaam, amen. Listen at what God said out of him. If Balak would give me his if house. If Balak amen. would give me his house. Full of silver and full, gold. Full. Full. Full of silver and full. gold. Amen. Glory to God. Full of silver and gold. Full of it, of silver and I, gold. I cannot I, go. I cannot go beyond the word I of cannot. the Lord. I cannot. Cannot. I cannot go beyond the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord my of God. The Lord my God. To do less. To do less. Or more. Or more. That's right. Why don't your pastor believe that? Amen. His old money loving rack of tears. Amen. Mega church loving hypocrite. Do That's you hear right. what the word of God says here? If Balak would give me his house. I haven't seen a preacher on social media that talk this talk yet. No. Not one. Not one. These men, the whole time they're over the air, they close their eyes and beg you for money. Yes, they would. They make you think if you don't give God no money, you're going to die. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Like some of you preachers that's... Uh, pastoring branch churches are some of the fake organizations you're in. Amen. Them preachers ain't think your overseer ain't thinking about your soul. No. The only thing he's concerned about is how much tithes come in there, how much offering come in there, and what does it take for the month. That's right. Had a Spanish brother contact me uh, last week out of Colorado mm. in some apostolic organization. <laughs> he said he'd been following up a broadcast for quite some time now. He said, now he's, he's starting to preach. He's a pastor. Mm. He's, he's leading preaching. 
this holy sanctified message. Mm -hmm. And he told me, Pastor Jennings, you're so right. The only thing my organization uh, contact me about is how much tithing and how much offering. My Lord. They don't care about none of us. They don't care about who's saved. They don't care no. about how many need help. They don't care about nothing. Right. These preachers was raised by the devil. <laughs> That's right. That's <laughs> right. Hey, Amen. You know, you have Go some ahead, fish. Man. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Right. You have some fish that are farm raised. <laughs> That's right, man. I don't like farm-raised fish. Amen. Oh, no. And I, I want something where somebody went down a, a, in a body of water mm -hmm. and bait that hook Amen. and reeled it in. That's right. Or give me something where someone took a net and threw it out in the water. I don't want somebody fishing in your, uh, your fish tank. <laughs> That's right. Not that. No, no. Or trying to catch some fish out of your swimming pool. Amen. I don't want that. Amen. No, sir. Oh, no. Amen. So just like there's some fish that are farm raised, mm -hmm. man, these preachers are hell raised. That's right. Raised by the devil out of hell. That's right. That's why he pleased you. He pleases you. That's why he preached what you love to hear. Mm -hmm. That's why you like to get close to him and may make you his friend, his buddy, That's right. his pal, so he can, especially if you's a, a big money giver. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Hey, man, I often think more over when that cross-dresser Tyler Perry went off into some fake tongue. Hey, man, Casper the ghost couldn't do better. <laughs> hey, man, right. that Looney Tune spirit. <laughs> uh, right. Now, this is how backward it is. Amen. It ain't no lame member in here have the right or the authority to lay hands on me. No, no, no. No lay member. No. That's backwards. That's backwards. No lay member should be laying hands on the bishop. No way. The bishop's supposed to be laying hands on the lay member. That's right. And that cross dresser laid hands on him and he got that million dollar ghost. And then while he's <laughs> up there shaking some old foolish woman, some woman walking by screaming in the microphone, push the baby out. My Lord, my that? Lord, what was that? Push the baby out. What well, that? I know T.D. Jakes is big, but I know the man was pregnant. Amen. She was yelling, push the baby out. My Lord. Push the baby out. Mm -hmm. There wasn't no baby in there. That's right. Mockery. Mockery. You religious fakers. That's right. Mockery. Mockery. Amen. We're going to blast it to hell. Amen. Come on back to Bible. That's right. Everybody in the world. Everybody. Come on back to Scripture here. That's right. Everybody. Everybody. Come on back. You've got away from God's Word. Come on back. That's right. Glory to God ever so often, whenever there's a car dealer, and they put out a new car, hey amen, they have to make a recall. Oh, yes. They get the bugs out. That's right. Thank God I'm making a recall on religion. Oh, yes. Because it's full of bugs. Bugs. Hey amen, all type of lies got in there. Oh, yeah. That got the pulpit and the followers all jumping to it and nobody searched the scriptures to find out if what he believed or what he said That's is right. even true. That's right. All right, go back to the book of uh, back uh, in Ju the book of Jude. So I'm, back in I'm Jude. done with Balaam. Listen at this now. Back in Jude chapter 1 and verse 1. Let's have it. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James. Yes. To them that are sanctified by God the Father. Them that are sanctified by God the Father. And preserved in Jesus Christ and called. Yeah, you preserved. 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 Just take the spirit to sanctify you. That's right. And take the shedding of the blood to preserve you. That's right. What did he say here? Mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Yes. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you. And what? And exhort you that you should earnestly, you should earnestly contend, contend for, for the, the faith, faith, which was once delivered unto the saints. Yes. But there are certain men crept in unaware. Listen at this now. Amen. There are certain men crept, crept in, in unawares, unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. I want you viewers to get this, and Amen. you that are here. Amen. Certain men. Certain men crept in unawares. And they spilt out of so-called Bible college. Mm. 
and infiltrated churches That's right. by the millions. That's right. Not called of God, get me good. <laughs> Not sent of God, get me good. That's but right. they got their diploma from some college some and school. they say that's how they become a preacher. You right. know preacher? No. All of you that are listening to my big mouth. That's right. School don't make preachers. No, no. Being a preacher is a divine act of God. That's right. And you're not preaching unless you preach the word. Preach the word. My God, man, you're not preaching unless you preach God's word. That's it. Hey, Amen. Never mind preaching homiletics and theology and philosophy. Oh, no. no hey, Amen. No. The Bible says that uh, you're purified through seeing you have purified your souls you know, and obeying the truth. And Jesus said you're clean through the word, the word that I speak unto you. So you got to stay in the word That's and it. follow the word. And the book of scriptures must be used. That's right. First and foremost foremost in the face of the church that's right that's why you would never see me with a sermon already written out no never 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 already written out it's already written that's right huh that's right the moment you put the bible under your arm that's the message that's the message huh that's right somebody say i wonder what pastor jen is going to preach today just go get your bible <laughs> that's it the moment you touch the book, that's the message. That's right. Thank God it's God everlasting word. That's right. Eh? What did he say, son? For there are certain men crept certain in men unawares. Crept in. Unawares. Unawares. Who were before of old ordained. They were before ordained. To this condemnation. To... <laughs> Amen. Ordained. They were ordained. To this condemnation. To this condemnation. What kind of men were they? Ungodly men. And that's the truth. What kind? Ungodly men. An ungodly man is married again while his first wife is living. That's right. An ungodly man is out here switching. <laughs> that's right. An ungodly man be smoking and drinking. Amen. An ungodly. ungodly man will beat up his wife. That's right. An ungodly man will carjack and steal. Amen. An ungodly man will do these things. That's right. Do you hear what the Bible says? For there are certain men crept in unawares. I don't unawares. care because you carry a Bible, amen, and wear a kufi, amen, <laughs> and carry the Quran, amen, or, uh, or carry the Old Testament. What do I care? That's right. Thank God if you ungodly, ungodly. you just ungodly. That's right. Eh? For there are certain men crept certain in unawares. Men. Doesn't certain matter what color you are either. No, no, certain men. It just says certain men. Certain men. That done what? Crept in unawares. Creepers. <laughs> That's right. Creepers. Huh? Amen. Creeps. <laughs> That's right. Sneaking around. Sneaking around. A bunch of creepers. That's right. Do you hear this? For there are certain men crept certain in unawares. Men crept in unawares. Who were before of old ordained to this un to this condemnation. What are they? Ungodly men. Ungodly men. Turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness. They are turning the God's grace mercy into lasciviousness. To extreme lust. And denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. They deny God. Th that's right. Denying. They deny God. That's right. They deny the fact that God came in the flesh that's and right. Jesus Christ was he. That's right. They deny him. Deny him. And if you look at the world today, oh, yes. just look at social media. So, so, social media has good effects, and God knows it's just having negative effects. But you think us is a platform for gossip. Oh, yeah. Platform for gossip. That's right. Hey, man, I got a television. I don't know. That's right. 
I know none of that. Right. But one thing I do know, I do know <laughs> 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 that he was at Diddy's party mm -hmm. because he was dumb enough. They videotaped him videotaped it. with short songs, right. dancing, and his family dancing. That's right. He took a picture with Diddy. Diddy laid his hand, his head on him. My Lord. He did a sign language with Diddy. My Lord. He sat there at the table with a champagne glass there. Mm. So all I can do is speak what I know. What you know. All that other stuff. I heard he, he said that he's 68 years old. He's too old to be a freak. Brother, that's a lie. That's a lie. Am I right, man? That's right. <laughs> Go ahead. <take> <laughs> That's a lie. That's a lie. Go <laughs> and thank God. Jakes, I want you to hear this. Amen. That's just a bold faced lie. That's right. Because 68, you're young. That's and right. And that's not too old to be a freak. No. Anytime in the Bible, that's right. they are making babies at 300, yeah. 400, 500. 600. That's right. 700. And they're making babies. Making babies. Man, 68 years old, you ain't nothing but a baby compared to them in the Bible. That's right. So you're not too old no. to be a freak. No, no. No way. I said, lie out of hell. That's right. Am I right, folks? Amen. Talk back to me. Amen. 68 years old, you too old, man. That's one of the biggest lies among your other lies. Among other lies. You hear me good? I'm going to make it so plain, you have to get angry. That's right. That's right. Like I said to the church the other day, that the Black Caucus of Ministers wrote me three letters. They mm -hmm. wanted to make sure I get it, so they sent three big letters to the church with about three or four pages of a petition signed mm. by so many preachers in the country mm -hmm. to mediate, to have a meeting. Want to mediate between me and Jake the Snake. <laughs> I started to tear the letters up, mm -hmm. but I said, no. <laughs> now I'm going to use this time. If they're serious about coming to the table, Right. I'm going to use this time, bring our ministers, some of our brothers, and we're going to strike this out with scripture. That's right. That's, that's, that's what we want to do. That's right. We want to strike this out with scripture. Amen. Prove the fact Prove it. that the church can coexist mm -hmm. with homosexuality. That's right. Prove it. Prove it. Prove the fact that a man of God is evolving towards homosexuality. My Lord, my Lord. He said, some churches have their theory, uh, others have their theory. He said, I'm evolving. I'm not. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Until God evolved, ain't never evolved. That's right. He made the woman for the man. For the man, that's it. I will never evolve from that. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Then Peter said to them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized every be one baptized of you. baptized every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sin. You said you was born in the world in sin. In sin. And you commit Many sins. That's right. God wants you to repent for all of them. That's right. That's why you repent. Mm -hmm. That's repentance for what you've done. That's right. And the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ wash away the sin singular. That's right. That you inherited from birth and the sins that you committed after you arrived, thank God, from your mother's womb. That's it. Uh -huh. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. And what did he promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Why? For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off. Even as many. As the Lord our God shall call. The Bible says the Lord has spoken. Yeah. 
have called the whole earth, the whole earth, from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. That's right. There's anybody here today who wants to obey the scriptures and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet if you want it. Amen. Wonderful. Amen. Follow their brothers right there. And you sisters, you sisters, follow those sisters over there. We thank God for all of you. God gave us all something good. What is it? Now we'll be back. Who can give me the correct time this evening? Oh, that's a good time. Be back at 5 o'clock. We'll be in the lower auditorium. At 5 o'clock, let the word of God sink into your ears. God is not mocked. God is not mocked. God is going to get even with man. That's right. And I don't want God to have to get even with me about nothing. That's right. Under the sun. Amen. And this is why before your day closed, you should go before God with repentance all the time. That's right. Somebody said, Pastor Jenny, I don't remember I done nothing. Who cares what you don't remember? Yeah. If you're wise, wise, you'll go before God before that day closed. That's right. And hit your knees all the time. Not be nosy and try to find out what somebody else done. That's right. What you repenting for? None of your business. Amen. Not your wife's business and ain't your husband's business. That's right. Ain't your children business. Mm -hmm. That's between you and God. Oh, yes. And you should go to God always. Always. Before that day closed. That's right. So you can have a clean slate with your heavenly father. Amen. God is not mocked. Not mocked. You not better be seen. careful what you say. Yeah. Don't use God's title so loosely. That's right. Or in vain. In vain. Amen. Amen. Because remember, if you blaspheme once after you've been taught, after you've been, after you've been informed, yep. and you know better, you have placed a sentence of eternal damnation upon yourself. That's right. When you know better, been informed. Been informed. All you got to do is blaspheme the Holy Ghost one time. That's right. And you know better. And you know better. Amen. Amen. You better hear me good now. Oh, yes. Amen. All right. Tune in again next week, viewers. God willing, we have come back, catch you with the same thing to pound you on the devil's head. You that are here, God willing, be back. This evening, God be our helper at uh, 5 o'clock in the lower auditorium.